Today on the Boot Guy, we're talking about face masks. I have five winter face masks that could make this upcoming winter season a little bit more bearable and much more comfortable. So let's take a look at it. So for props in this video, I have two things that I'm using. A basic bump cap and a pair of safety glasses to demonstrate just how a face mask can fit with these two items since these are two items that most of you guys have to use on a daily basis. Sometimes some of the face masks out there don't really play nice with safety glasses or a bump cap. Let's take a look at the first face mask. So the first face mask we're looking at is from Carhartt. It's a basic, old-fashioned, single-hole knit face mask. The number on this face mask is A161BLK. And out of all the five that I picked out, it's the only one that's American-made. Now you gotta remember, a face mask like this cannot go in the washing machine. This is hand wash only and then laid out flat to dry overnight. It's 100% acrylic, which means it's too much heat, this thing's gonna melt, it's gonna shrink, it's gonna recess back to a shape that will not return once it's stretched out. Now the insulation properties in this are actually really good. These old style face masks you'll find are quite warm. This one in particular, 40 grams of Thinsulate. So that's a pretty good amount of Thinsulate to have in a face mask. Now it is exceptionally warm, but at the same time, it could be too warm unless you're really stuck in really single digit temperatures. Now the second face mask I have here is from a company called Chaos Hats. Now this is a fleece face mask. It is a single hold, but it is kind of indented for your nose and chin on the bottom. Now this is a very generous fitting face mask. It's soft, it's packable, you can fit it in your coat pocket, you can slide it somewhere else. It's very nice, it's lightweight. It's not the heaviest face mask out there, but because it is fleece and because fleece is one of the best wicking materials when it comes to sweat, when it comes to a heat transfer. Now it is a really good face mask and it is one that you should be looking at if you're looking for something that's gonna trap a lot of heat, it's gonna cut the wind, and it's gonna dry really quick when you have to also hand wash this. Now our third face mask comes from a company called Quietware. And you guys might recognize Quietware also as Whitewater Glove Company from Wisconsin. Now, they do make a lot of hunting stuff. And technically, this is just a hunting face mask that's black. But when you take this and you put this into the work world, which is basically all day outside trying to stop the cold, this Quietwear face mask does a really good job. Now, it is a neoprene infused fleece, so that means it's gonna break more wind, it's gonna stop more moisture from penetrating, and it's gonna be a little bit warmer than a basic fleece. Now, the transference properties are not gonna be like a fleece mask. It, it is gonna get a little sloppy inside, it is gonna get a little sweaty, but this is really made for really cold weather, single digits, where there's not going to be a lot of sweat involved. It's just going to be a matter of retaining heat. Now they did do a nice bump out for the nose and for the mouth portion on this mask, which is, no, is a nice touch. My number four mask comes from Gator. Now this is a complete fleece head, fleece neck, with a neoprene face and cheek. They have a little bump out on the nose here that covers the bridge of the nose. It's made from neoprene that's backed with fleece, really warm, really nice. They have a vented mouth hole, so the heat that leaves your nose and leaves your mouth doesn't get pushed back up into your safety glasses, or it doesn't start to accumulate and ice crystals form around the edge. Now, out of all the masks, this is the only one that has a back Velcro. So getting it off and using it as a hood or a neck warmer, it's not gonna work as well as the other ones I'm showing off today.
Now my number five mask is the Carhartt Force Mask. And out of all the masks that I'm showing off today, this is probably the most practical and the most easiest to take care of. With a fiber content of 92% polyester and 8% spandex, you're gonna get a lot of life and a lot of wear out of this mask. It can double as a mask or as a hood or it can just be worn as a neck warmer until you need something over your ears and up over your head. It is a very nice piece of equipment. It is definitely a piece that if you're gonna pick up one face mask this year, that this is probably one of the ones that you should just pick up just to have as a backup or in reserve or hell, you'll start wearing it and it'll probably become your everyday face mask. So that was five face masks that I picked out I selected that I think are really good face masks in a work environment. Hey, if you've worn any of the face masks that I mentioned, please comment below. Let guys know which ones you liked, which ones you didn't like, and which ones you're still using this season. If you carried over from one season to the next, that's something guys would really like to know. Hey, if you're looking to pick up one of these face masks, check the description box below. There I'll have links to give you pricing, sizing, and the colors that are available on all the face masks that I talked about today. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you're about to pick up a piece of winter gear and you're kind of on the fence about size, whether or not it's the right thing for you, shoot me over an email. Kind of give me an idea of where you're going to be using it temperature wise, how much exposure time, and maybe I can help you make a better decision so you're more comfortable this upcoming winter season. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.